Welcome to the World Hero News for the 20th of September 2024. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. Strength, Leo, more Leo energy coming through. King of Pentacles and King of Pentacles again. There's a Leo here who's pretending to be close and friendly with a Taurus possibly or whoever this King of Pentacles is. But in reality, the Leo can't wait to strangle this Taurus or this earth sign, this man, this wealthy person, however this goes. There's an enemy here. The enemy can't wait to unleash something on this Taurus energy. Leo and Taurus, we've got the lion here. She's holding the lion and he's got the bull. Hmm, bulls of Bashan and lions encircle me. Psalm 22 could be significant. Somebody needs to read Psalm 22. Five of Swords, again, the 5th of August. There could be somebody who's born on the 5th of August or the 8th of August. This is very interesting. I was saying the exact same thing yesterday. Somebody's either born between the 5th and the 8th of August. We also have 6th of August here. Or they did something between the 5th and the 8th of August. Before the 8-8 portal, they tried to manifest something. They were trying to defeat another person with the Five of Swords here. They wanted this person to be locked up or to sabotage themselves, to hurt themselves. 58 could be significant. Somebody could be 58 or born in 58. They could be an air sign. 86, May 86 could be significant. Somebody could be a Taurus or a Gemini, born in 86. Then we've got Queen of Cups here. I want to clarify who this Leo energy is. I think the Leo is their parent, possibly. The chariot. So now we have Cancer. Again with the Cancer Leo cusp. Somebody's parent is a Cancer Leo cusp or they have a lot of Cancer and Leo in their chart. Could be a male or a female. But they are the enemy of their own son or daughter. But I think this is a son. 87 could be significant. We've got 86 and 87. There could be some people born in the 80s who are hurting their own children or these are the children who are being hurt. Of course, they're adults, they're aging adults, but <laughs> still, they're somebody's children and their own parents are attacking them, possibly. Or somebody else's parents. I'm not sure how this goes, but this Cancer Leo energy keeps coming through. Also, somebody's parent could be a Cancer, the other one could be a Leo, both parents could be their enemies. Anyway, 7-7, seven, seven. pay attention to the red flags with 7-7 seven, seven here. There's a child here, could be a son who needs to pay attention because their parent or parents are their enemies, mortal enemies. Just like it says in the Bible, in the end times, children and parents will turn against each other, exactly. Four of Swords, they want him gone. 54 is here again. It came out six times in yesterday's reading. It's coming through again. Either somebody's parent is 54 or they're born in 54. Somebody could live at number 54. I'm not sure what's up with this 54, but it keeps coming through. Somebody could also be 58. Somebody could be born in 86. So if the parent is uh, born in 54 or 58 or they are 54 or 58, the child could definitely be born in 86. Page of Cups. They could have a child of their own too. A younger child. An actual child. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, let's see. Yeah, somebody has a child of their own. 41 could be significant. This could be a 41 year old who has a child or children. Could be an air sign. Queen of Cups is here. Nine of Cups. Somebody could be on the cusp of an air sign and a water sign. Four of Cups, Cancer. Somebody could be Gemini Cancer, cusp possibly. Four 
Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Those are all in order. That's interesting. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Somebody's mother is a Leo. That's what I'm getting. Absolutely. This could be a very domineering mother. And the sun could be more subdued, more calm. Free of swords. This mother likes to hurt her own son. She could be saying a lot of hurtful things with all the swords here. This could be a mother who's very harsh with her words. She could be physically abusive too though. This mother could have a lot of pets, a lot of cats possibly. She could be single. This could be a single mother. Then we've got the high priestess. Somebody could be 35. So again, there are some people born in the 80s here and other people who are born in the 50s or they are in their 50s. Ace of Pentacles, yes. Also, there's a new beginning. Somebody's getting a job offer or they're starting a business. Somebody's getting something new, something good. And then we've got the Knight of Swords and the Sun. So things could be moving forward very quickly in a very good direction here. Something is definitely changing. We've got Leo season again. Gemini, Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Leo. Something will be changing in Scorpio season, most likely. An ending is happening. Somebody's moving away from a parental figure who has been sabotaging them. And um, they will have better days. This person could be having a child of their own. This could be a new baby. Somebody could be pregnant right now. Two of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. So there is a parental figure who's trying to destroy their son's relationship or their marriage nine of wands so we had all these good cards and all of a sudden everything falls apart somebody is getting something new it's moving forward quickly they're happy and then boom something happens and everything's in reverse and somebody gets hurt but then we've got another ace of cups you know what i'm getting from this this parent is looking into their son's future. And every time the son gets something good or is about to get something good, this person does some form of witchcraft possibly to hold him back. This is most likely a witch. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Wands energy and the cats here, well, the lions. Um, she does witchcraft every time this son gets something good she does witchcraft to stop it she's done this before again everything's going well boom everything's destroyed he's traumatized and again we've got the ace of cups and this could be love she could be ruining all the sons love relationships could be a marriage too with the justice here but justice will be served possibly in november either in libra season or in november in scorpio season or sagittarius season the lover six the sixth of november is coming through again just like yesterday so this son is about to be freed from the influence of his mother Possibly on the 6th of November. He could be taking his own mother to court or he's getting married. He's moving away from this mother. He's figuring out that his mother does witchcraft on him and he's going to protect himself possibly. Or his wife or future wife knows how to protect herself and her marriage against this witch 
because literally that's what I'm getting. Maybe this man doesn't believe in witchcraft, but his mother is a witch and she has been doing things to destroy his life. Could be a father too, but I think this is a mother and a son we're talking about in this reading today. But it could be any parent and any child. Page of Wands. The Emperor, somebody could be an Aries. Could be a father who's an Aries. Or the man who's being attacked by witchcraft from his mother could be an Aries. Aries and Taurus. An Aries man and a Taurus man could resonate with this. Aquarius could also resonate with this. The 17th of April is Aries again. Somebody could have Aries and Aquarius in their chart. The gate 20, somebody's a fixed sign. Something about the year 2017 could be significant. 2011. Something could have happened between 2011 and 2017. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Somebody was in a relationship possibly between 2011 and 2017 and then they were single again. That's because of their mother doing witchcraft on their relationship. Yes, Aries and Taurus need to hear that their mothers are witches and they need to defend themselves against their own mother's witchcraft. Seven of Swords, yes, she's very sneaky or they are very sneaky, these mothers. Three of Cups. This mother is a witch, could be an Eastern star possibly. She's a part of some kind of cult or coven. Some kind of secret society, that's what I'm getting with these cards. The 17th of March could be significant too. Somebody could be a Pisces, an Aquarius, the mother, Leo Pisces or Aquarius possibly. King of Swords, yeah. Somebody's mother is the King of Swords. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune 10. This could also be a Libra, could be an October Libra. Also, somebody's father could be their enemy, but I'm strongly getting a feminine energy who is the enemy of their own son today. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands, 84. Somebody could be born in 84. They could be a fire sign. They could be born in August or April. They could be an Aries or a Leo. Ace of Cups. This person is starting a new relationship, finding a new love. And the mother or the father, but I think this is the mother again, doing this to their son, is about to do witchcraft on the new relationship too. I just saw 13, 11. The 13th of November could be significant. Somebody could be a Scorpio or somebody's planning something for Scorpio season with the world coming out. That's an ending, just like death energy. 13 is death, right? Scorpio energy again. This woman is planning to end this relationship by Scorpio season, possibly. She's at it again. Nine of swords, yes. This is somebody who is attacking their son's mind. The 21st of September could be significant. This date has been coming through a lot. It's been coming through since I came back from my holiday. Somebody could be born on this date, could be a Virgo. This could be somebody's mother or the son is born on this date or something will be happening on the 21st of September to this mother. This mother wants something to happen in the next few months. This is towards the end of Virgo season, but it's not the last day. The last day of Virgo season is the 22nd. And the first day of Libra season is the same as the equinox. The 23rd of September is the equinox and the first day of Libra season. Balance, yes. Libra is balance. The 21st of September represents the equinox. The day is equal to the night. So, balance will be restored 
once we enter Libra season, that's what I was getting here. The Empress free. Somebody's mother could be a Libra. If this is a low, yes, it's true, Queen of Swords, exactly. Somebody's mother is a Libra. Somebody who resonates with this. And this Libra is trying to hold them back with a Four of Pentacles. They could be doing this to a Taurus again. Seven of Cups. They're creating illusions for this Taurus again. Yes, absolutely. This is a message for a Taurus whose mother is possibly a Libra. This woman keeps messing with his mind, keeps betraying him with a Ten of Swords. She's doing things behind his back. And again, this woman could sabotage him or getting him to sabotage himself by the words she's saying. She's very cruel with her words. Somebody's dictatorial here. Six of Pentacles. She's pretending to be helpful, but she's destructive. She's ruining everything for this man. Six of Pentacles. Again, yes, she keeps saying that she wants to help. And again, with the Six of Pentacles, I'm thinking balance, equal give and take. This person thinks that they are balanced, that they are good. I almost said governor. <laughs> yes, they're governing their son. <laughs> this woman could have some kind of position of authority, possibly. The Empress again. Yes, this is a Libra. There's a Libra who thinks she's very balanced, but uh, she's just destroying her children's lives or child. But I keep getting this Taurus. There's an Aries here too. Somebody could have two children, an Aries or a Taurus. Or these are two different people who need to hear this, an Aries and a Taurus men. Okay, there we go. Queen of Pentacles, they need to hear this about their mother who's pretending to be helpful. They could be very codependent on this mother figure possibly, or that's what she's trying to manifest for them to be very codependent on her. Then we've got death, the hanged man, the five of pentacles and the fool. Somebody's about to lose all their money. This queen of pentacles could have had a lot of money. She could have been giving her child or children money To compensate for the fact that they're a bad mother but this is over somebody's about to lose all their money five of pentacles to the fool this woman could end up homeless actually again this is a mother who is trying to sacrifice their own child or the child's relationships in one way or another this mother was sacrificing them even if she wasn't actually taking their lives the 12th the 13th of a month could be significant <sighs> something could be happening on the 13th of december in sagittarius season king of wands page of cups There's going to be a conflict here. The tower. With the death and the tower energy and the conflict energy here. This king of wands, I said some kind of conflict will happen. Somebody could live in a war zone or there's going to be an attack on the place where this woman lives. This could be a natural disaster too. There could be an earthquake and something could be happening to this woman during the earthquake or some other disaster. A city could also be bombed. The war is spreading. More and more people are dying. I can tell by the dreams I'm having. There are more people dying in the world right now nobody's talking about it but there are a lot more people dying right now the Hierophant five 
So there's an act of God coming here. Five of Wands. A lot of conflict energy is coming towards these mothers. And it's God and the angel of God who are sending this energy towards these mothers, whoever these women are. Where's this happening? Is there going to be another war somewhere? Power moment, as I said that. Yes, there will be. Two of Wands. Somebody's planning it right now with a Two of Wands. I've got some cards on the floor. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's running out of patience. Somebody who's watching and waiting to attack, to strike, is losing patience right now. Three of Wands. They're waiting again, waiting and planning and running out of patience, the moon, 18, this is still a secret. Somebody could have been planning this since 2018, possibly. The Empress reversed, and somebody's mother will be losing her life in this attack. One of these evil mothers I've been picking up on, who's been trying to destroy their son, or sons and their relationships, and again, one of these mothers is a Libra, absolutely. There's definitely a Libra female here and there's definitely a Leo female. 18th of March, 18 free, 18 free. Somebody's mother could also be a Pisces born specifically on the 18th of March or something could have happened in March, 2018. Something significant could have happened in March, 2018. She did something. This mother did something, some kind of moon magic or something she's hiding. Yes, it's true. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands. The 21st of June is here again. Something about the solstices and the equinoxes again. Somebody could also be born on the 21st of June, 